Okay, so by the end of this video, you will be able to make a map like this. So what we have is a county map of Colorado, and in each county is the population. So for example, based off 2020 census data for uh, Morgan County, population was 29,111. Okay, so this is, will be uh, kind of a follow-up on a previous video I made of how to make a county map, but we're kind of we're going to kind of spice it up a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting um, by a request of another person that watched one of my videos of how to do something like this. Um, uh, you could put um, in this case population data, or maybe median income, or uh, some real estate information, uh, average real estate cost of each county. Uh, average contractual uh, price made by county if you if you're doing kind of um, uh, you know business in multiple counties or multiple uh, multiple states so uh, there's quite a lot of interesting use cases that you can use but for now we'll just stick with the very simple thing population so let's close this so first we're gonna make a Google my map I'm gonna do in New Mexico for this example and what we need to do, I'm going to switch to a new tab here, is we need to go to this page. Uh, just like in uh, the previous video, uh, cartographic boundary files shapefile. You can do a quick Google search to find the link to this. Um, but we will go latest status from 2018. And what we'll do is we're going to download uh, the 500k uh, data. It's uh, the most accurate that they have for county and um, in a second I will show you uh, where I've downloaded that okay so here is my data so I'm gonna open that up well I'm gonna delete the zip file and this shape file is what we're interested in so I'm gonna open the program QGIS or QGIS or however you say it this is my map I was working on in Colorado but we'll um, make a new one Okay, so what we need to do is drop the shapefile or import it into a blank new project in QGIS. <clears throat> okay, so we are doing New Mexico. And so first we need to right click on our layer here that we've imported and we'll go to open attribute table. So we see a lot of interesting things here. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. Let's bring it down a little bit. And first we'll create a virtual field, or a new field rather. So we click this button right here, open the field calculator. Mm, okay, there we go. Create a new field, we'll call this one ID. Okay, whole number. And in this kind of uh, dialog box here, just search for ID and you see a dollar sign ID, double click that. It will come over here and click OK. It's going to add a new column right here. Okay, let's save that and uh, click the Save button right here and click the red exit button. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out the state number of New Mexico. So uh, because we have a lot of data here, but we don't, we only care about New Mexico. So we can use the information uh, toggle here and New Mexico, um, yeah, let's let's find out what state number New Mexico has. So I have to click it again. Here we go. So click any county of New Mexico and open this up. And New Mexico and our data has state number 35, state FP. So we will use that. And then what we need to do is right click on our data again, open the attribute table, and we need to basically delete everything that's not 35. So uh, there's probably really smart ways to do this. I'm a little bit more of a manual, uh, manual process guy on this one. So I'm going to, you notice I clicked row one, and then I'm going to scroll down. You see that the first column is state FP. So remember ours is 35. We'll go down to 34, 
and I'm going to hold the shift key. Well, let's go. I got to find the very end of 35. There we go. Hold the shift. We select everything. And um, we should have everything selected here, you see. And let's delete. Delete everything. Delete selected. Okay. <clears throat> Notice New Mexico is still here. Let's do the same thing with everything past 35. So 35, 36. There it is. Okay. Delete all this. Everything should be selected except for New Mexico. Delete selected. Okay, there we go. Everything looks right. Okay, so now we are just working with New Mexico. Okay, so now what we want to do is open Google and find some data source for New Mexico population by county. So I just quickly Googled New Mexico population by county and found this website. I'm going to decide to trust it. It says that uh, it's coming from 2020 census. Okay, and what we're going to do is uh, actually before we do this, we need to import it into um, uh, we need to do some importation into a CSV of our shapefile. So let's actually go back to QGIS before we do that. Right click on the uh, our shapefile and we are going to ex export as a CSV. Comma, separated value. So let's save this in our New Mexico file. New Mexico shape file CSV. Click save. Um, this all looks good. So click OK. Now what we need to do is import that. Um, I'm, I actually don't have Excel installed on this computer so I'll be using Google Sheets to look at that data. So let's use Google Sheets to do that. File, open, and I'm going to drag our CSV file into Google Sheets uh, to open it. So this is the data that would normally be present in that shape file. Now what we want to do is add um, a population column so that we can show that on our Google My Map when we um, later create that. So what we will do, let's add a new tab here, new sheet rather, and let's grab our New Mexico data, getting a little ahead of myself there earlier, and, and uh, right click and copy that or use control C go back to the New Mexico file and paste this data. Okay. For us, um, you notice that this has the word county at the end, but it doesn't over here, so that's a problem. So we got to delete the word county. So use control F to do the find command. Click the little three dots. And we need to find space county. So there is a space there we have to delete and replace with nothing. And click replace all. Okay, so now we have um, the same county name as is over here. And now I can use some formulas to uh, get the population data. So I per personally like to use match and index. So index. Um, we need to, we want population, and then we use match to get the row number. Match, 
Well, let's see, we're looking for Colfax County and we are looking in column B and zero and then end the formula. Okay, let's hope that works and it does work. And then we can, you know, double click the little cell, the little blue rectangle to bring the formula all the way down or you can just paste, you know, if you're old fashioned. And now uh, we should be good. So what we have the population data, we can do kind of a, a check, De Baca County. This is 1,698. That is a small county. And it, it also is uh, the correct value over here. Okay, so what we need to do now is file, uh, download as a CSV. And we're gonna drag this file back into our other sheet. Okay, CSV with population. Now we need to go back to QGIS. So now that we're back in QGIS, we will click layer, add layer, add delimited text layer. So let's find our file name. This is CSV with pop. There um, is a little area here called geometry definition. And we want to choose no geometry. It's an attribute only table. Okay, and that's about it. Click add. Okay, and we're ready to merge the data now. So we'll right click on our shape file, not this one, but the actual shape file. Click properties. There is this icon right here. This is the joiner icon. We'll click the plus. And we uh, want to join the layer, the join layer is CSV with pops. The join field is the ID and the target field is also the ID. Mm, that does not seem right. Okay, yes, that is right. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, click okay. Click okay. And let's see if it worked. Right click, open attribute table and we have the population now. That's great. It also maybe imported some double things here. Mm, should be okay. Didn't mean to do that, but we have the population. Okay, so um, I imported too many columns, so the way you would fix this is just deleting them in the CSV file, but for this example the population is here and we'll continue. So now what we need to do is, uh, we're almost to the end, we'll export this as a shape file. So right click, uh, export, and I say shape, but I actually meant KML. So we will export as a KML. Uh, we'll call this New Mexico KML. Click OK. It successfully was created. We will go back to our Google My Map. Click import and we will import this. Fingers crossed. And it worked. Great. So now what we want to do is we'll change the individual style to a uniform style and we'll set the label as the population. And, uh, you know, most people live in Albuquerque, so we can do a dummy check here, sanity check, and it looks good. Uh, so there you go. This is great. We made a New Mexico population map that is uh, easily viewable. Uh, Google My Maps are great because you don't have to have QGIS or fancy software. Anyone can see this. Um, so I'm a big fan. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you. Bye.